Hey guys, how's it going? Excellent Channel 4 here, and today I'm with a tutorial on how to change your login screen. Now, that old Windows login screen may get tiring once in a while, so I'm going to teach you how to change it and make it whatever you want. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go down here and click Start, and you're going to type in Reg Edit or Registry Editor. So, if this pops up, just click Yes. And, oops. We'll get rid of this stuff. Boop, all gone. Okay, so what you do is once you're in here, there should be five, I think. Yep, five of these. You're going to look for H key local machine. You're going to right click on it and click find, and then you're going to type in OEM background. Now, this is case sensitive, so be sure you type it correctly. And then this should come up. It should say OEM background, reg, D word, and then it should have a bunch of this stuff. Double click it, and where it says value data, change that to one. And then click OK. Then you, go, you're, uh, uh, then you can go ahead and exit out of this. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to click start and type in percent w i n d i r or windows directory percent slash sys system 32 slash o o b e or oob it's an oob and basically you're just going to type that i'll post it in the description too just so you don't have to uh try and figure out what i'm typing so then just go ahead press enter and this window's on my other screen there we go and um, so now we've got these uh, configuration files. What you're going to do is you're going to right click, new, folder, and name it info, all lowercase. Then you're going to go ahead and open that folder called info. You're going to right click, new, folder, and then you're going to name it back, backgrounds. Yeah, all lowercase again. So then you're going to open that up and you can place your background in here. Uh, if I have my background, it should be in here somewhere. Backgrounds, background default. Okay. So now I've got a uh, thing in here named something that's not what you're supposed to name it yet. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to right click, click rename, and you're supposed to name it background, then capital D, and then default. So background and then default with a capital D and note you do have to have administrator access because um, yeah you need yeah you got it if you have trouble already then you're probably not an administrator so uh, away from that this is pretty much all you have to do but you have to make sure that your image it should fit your screen resolution it doesn't have to but I like it fitting my screen resolution, but it has to be under 244 kilobytes, I believe. Yeah, 244 kilobytes. And if you really want to shrink it down, um, you can always use Photoshop or Paint.net or something, and you just save it as a low-quality JPEG. Or you could also use Paint, so I'll show you this right now. You just click Open With, then Paint. And then you press Control W, and then you can change the uh, percentage. So let's say it's a thousand kilobytes, or let's say it's like 400. You just reduce it by half. So now it's half that size, and it works really well. So I hope this helped you guys. Remember to like and subscribe for more, and have fun with your new backgrounds. Uh, yeah. See you guys later.